Sebastian, you're obviously pretty disappointed the other night, having a couple days to kind of absorb what happened, kind of where do you go forward from here as far as, you know, what this team's future holds and, and the changes that are probably coming this summer? Yeah, still very disappointed how uh, how it ended. Definitely was, uh, in my opinion, the best chance we've had here. We had, uh, I thought, really thought we had the team, you know, um, adding those guys in the trade deadline and and uh, already pieces we had we got here before that, so it was very you know exciting time to you know to feel that you know you really have a chance and really thought till till the end that we this is the team that you know could go could go go over that hump and and uh, go all the way but yeah it's. Uh, Really uh, disappointing how uh, how it ended, and this one this one hurts for sure. But uh, at the same time, I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future, or who's uh, who's coming back and all that. But I uh, sure I, uh, I hope uh, the team won't change too much. What's the most important thing you've learned this year as a leader? Uh, I mean, you learn a lot about the. Uh, about yourself and in in the playoffs and uh, going well every year it's also like just getting life experience getting a little older and getting a little perspective but uh, I feel like as a as a hockey player and you uh, you learn a lot of, about your yourself your team and your teammates in in the postseason and uh, yeah I don't I don't know what's the what exactly are the are the things but I I do think. Uh, Giving these uh, experiences and uh, going through them, it's uh, they're gonna, you know, help me as a player, help me as a leader, and uh, hopefully uh, I can be better. Did you feel there was less pressure on your shoulders this year, especially with Jarvis playing so well and so coming in, Sketch being able to uh, contribute? Uh, well, to be honest, I uh, I put a lot of pressure on myself to to uh, obviously I play big minutes, I, you know, get to play with top guys and power play and killing penalties and all that, so uh, I, I expect that my, from myself a lot, and obviously uh, when you're not able to reach your goal, you, uh, you know, you try to look in the mirror and try to learn, to learn their ways to be better, and, but yeah, it was uh, unreal to have you know those those guys playing that level to uh, you know it definitely helped my game as well uh, and uh, yeah I uh, but just saying these things it just like sucks even more because you know you we had those guys who played unreal hockey and and uh, yeah couldn't uh, couldn't finish the job. I know you don't like to look, talk too much about yourself, but when you do look at it and you see that you have a career year, you know, are you able to reflect on that and you know the progress that you've continued to make throughout your career here? And then also with that, what do you want to work on then? To be yeah, I mean, uh, there was a lot of positive in this year too. You know, uh, you go and you try to look. Uh, Maybe from your mistakes, you try to learn, but you also want to gain some confidence from uh, from the good stuff you did. And uh, we definitely had a lot of good, like I said, in, in this year. And uh, the way I just look at it, I've said it uh, many times before, but just try to get better like every day. So that's the mindset. And I, I do think I, uh, you know, haven't reached my you know le top level. I, I think I can, you know, still take steps. and. Uh, might ne not necessarily be more goals or assists, but like every kind of every aspect in the in the game, and um, yeah, just uh, trying to trying to get better, and hopefully uh, next year uh, I can be better and we can be better as a team. What was your first reaction when you saw Robert Nemo in the the uh, yeah. section? Uh, obviously happy, happy for him, happy for the for the team. Obviously, uh, wasn't really. Well, I didn't pay attention. I, I saw it uh, like a couple of weeks ago. It was in, in the news, kind of. But uh, yeah, I, I never had a doubt in my mind he wouldn't come back. So uh, I guess not not surprised. I would say.
a couple of guys have talked about not being able to get over the hump. What's it going to take for the team to get over the hump? Uh, yeah, great question. I mean, I think uh, if we would have a clear answer, we would already got over the hump. But, yeah, I think uh, obviously you have to give yourself a chance. You know, you have to play a good regular season to, you know, to get the playoffs. So, and I think, uh, yeah, I've, I've said it before, but like I, I, do, I truly think uh, if, you know, we've gone through uh, – a lot with this uh, with this group, and I I think all these experiences kind of you know uh, help us help us to get through uh, sooner or later here. And uh, yeah, I uh, I I do think this team uh, can do it, and uh, just have to believe it. Work work uh, hard to towards it, and uh, hopefully uh, you know next season is ours. I know you missed a little bit of time during the regular season. Health-wise, you're you're totally fine yeah. going into the off season. No, nothing. Yeah, I'm healthy. Yeah. We've talked before and joked about Seth Jarvis not maturing uh, off the ice, but uh, just hearing what he just has been playing through this year with his torn leg and rotator cuff, you know, just what does it say about that guy and everything he's gone out and done for you guys? Uh, yeah, he has a lot of heart. I mean, obviously, he works his tail off every single day. Um, Brings a lot of good, good uh, energy to the locker room. He's uh, uh, unbelievable player. So uh, just happy to have him here, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll hear good news on uh, his contract sooner, sooner or later. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, great, great guy, great teammate, and obviously uh, uh, unbelievable player as well. Do you have a favorite memory of him for this year? Jeremy. Yeah. So many. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's. Uh, no, I mean not not really not not favorite, but uh, always uh, you know fun times to be around him. All these guys, a lot of these guys are going through their contract stuff now. You, know, you went through it last year. What, what's it like going through contract negotiation with this team? Uh, well, I can't really talk about about everyone else. I I only know. Uh, to my experience, and then, and I was obviously uh, fortunate enough to uh, get it done early and uh, fa fairly easy. So, uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, I don't know uh, exactly how uh, how it's gonna this is gonna shake out. And uh, but like I said, I ho I I, uh, I do hope we uh, we can get the keep the pieces here. And uh, I know it's hockey; it's part of the business that there's gonna be some changes probably. But uh, hopefully uh, not too much. All right. Thanks, Bishop.